What's up guys, it's your boy Lo, back with another Roblox video. I know it's been a minute. So recently, I've been thinking about Dungeon Quest. Kind of like a new game for the summer, I guess. And I was wondering if there's a way to calculate the potential of items. Because they have this thing called upgrades. Where you can upgrade your items, but only a set amount. So... I was looking around doing some math and I came up with the formula with a little help from someone else to calculate that. So let's go to the website I made. Link will be in the description. So for example, let's take my here glorious guardian helmet. It has 115 physical power and I want and 423 upgrades. So I want to see what its potential for physical power is. So I would just go here. And boom. So that's its potential. So now I know if I want to upgrade that helmet, what its final spell power in this case will be. Now the formula is the same for health, spell power, and physical power. So if, if for example if I updated my spell power, if I updated my spell power instead of my physical power it would still be about the same. I mean it would be within one difference. So let's do the quick math. So my spell power is 114 so we go back to the calculator, same upgrades. See, it's not that much different. What is it, one different? Oh, two different. Okay, so it's not really a big deal. It probably won't even have much of an effect in game. So that's how it works. So all you gotta do is you put the base stats, the base stats, the maximum upgrades, and then you can even put current upgrades. So let's go back to one of my items I have. So I have this nice ancient elder staff. So physical damage is 192. Uh, I don't know what that one. So power level is 25,058. And the maximum upgrades is a 1136. And I already invested 444 grades. So let's go plug those in. And now my stat potential is about 32,000. So if I fully upgraded this, spent the millions amount of gold it would take, that's how high I would get. So yeah. So now let's dive into the code. So see how I made it. I'm going to write the original code. Someone wrote this in Python and I had to convert it to JavaScript. So up here you can see I just have some my Google Analytics code, I got some styling, some more styling, and then I have three form controls. You can see those. Each of those has the type number, the name, so I can access it, and then I and whenever it changes, I run the run calc. Now, I made this without having to use jQuery, just pure JavaScript. I mean, I could probably use jQuery. It might have been a little easier, but in this case, I just use pure JavaScript. Okay, so now to the actual code. So it takes the three inputs, the three boxes, and then it converts all those inputs from, I was having problems, it was it was passing them as strings, so I was getting a lot of weird values down here. So I just converted them all to integers. And then right here, if current upgrades are greater than zero, then I calculate the max upgrades amount, simply by subtracting the current upgrades. And then I set all my variables. And then I do a loop. So all the way up to max upgrade starting at zero. I do base stat multiply by that. So this is the formula right here. But it only goes up to 10. So it would update the amount. Okay, let's. So it would update. So it would be 115 times 5% of 115 will be added to the physical power. Unless that value is 10 is 10 or greater and then it'll be 10. 
So, yeah. So that's it. This is a little thing to fix. One of the glitches the original calculator had, it was giving slightly wrong numbers, so I had to fix that Python calculator. And then it just keeps, it just basically, this is just a loop part. Same thing here. And then, yeah, so again, if it's greater than 10, you gotta increase it by 10, otherwise increase it by that 5% mark. And then round the base stat at the end, because we need numbers. And then to, to actually put the uh, inputs into the function, I just calling doc. I'm using the DOM thing to get the elements by name, and then the first one, and then the value, and then just passing that through this wrapper into basically calculate potential. So this run calc is just serving as a wrapper. So basically, anytime one of these values changes, it would automatically update. So you just have to either press enter or switch boxes. So yeah, there you go. A link to this website will be in the description. Check it out. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Or you, alternatively, you could email this email address or contact me on Discord. So drop a like below if you thought this was useful. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.